sausage rolls with rough puff pastry. I'm going to be using um, 150 grams of plain flour, which I've already sieved. To that, I'm going to add 95 grams of cold cubed butter. Very important that it's cold, particularly when the weather's warm. I'm just gonna coat it with the flour. I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt, as it's a savory dish. And now, Unlike short crust pastry, I'm going to start adding cold water because we're going to laminate this pastry to create layers of fat. So when the fat melts, it creates lovely flakes. This is a cheeks way of doing puff pastry. So I'm going to add gradually cold water, a tablespoon at a time. I'm gonna mix it with a table knife so this mixture stays as cool as possible because my hands are quite warm and it stops the mixture going all over my hands. I've added about 100 ml of cold water and now I'm gonna bring it together with my hand inside the bowl like so. If it's still a little bit dry, add a little bit of water gradually. I've got a tiny drop there. That should be absolutely plenty. Now it's the same principle with any pastry. It needs to be able to wipe the bowl clean and I know I have got the right amount of liquid in there. So that's pretty good actually. Now inside here, I've got big lumps of butter which will now become laminated as I roll it out. Now I'm going to put my pastry on a lightly floured surface and I'm going to flour my pin as well. I'm going to roll it out and you can see the big lumps of fat in here. I am going to start layering it up to create those beautiful layers, which when cooked will make those sausage rolls so delicious. And roll it again like that. You can see again, a bit of marbling going on there. If it's a little bit sticky, which it may be because there's a lot of fat visible on this, just add a little bit more flour, but never add too much. Add a little bit, you can't, a little bit at a time, otherwise you might make the pastry quite dry. I'll do this three times. So I've rolled and, rolled and fold three times. Okay, so I'm just going to, a little bit there again. Now once I've done that, it doesn't need to be particularly large. I'm going to fold it again into three. So I've created layers so, so and I'm gonna wrap it in cling film and I'm just gonna pop it in the freezer until I'm ready to use it. So I'm gonna use sausages. You can use sausage meat but sausages tend to have a higher uh, meat content. So what I'm going to do is I want to remove the sausages from their skin, unless you've got skinless ones. So I'm gonna split the skin like so and peel open and the sausage meat should come out. I'm going to use about 400 grams of sausage meat. Now I've removed all my sausages from their skins. I'm just gonna combine all the mixture so it's one solid piece. And then I'm gonna divide it into two separate longer sausages, which I'm gonna put inside my pastry. Now I'm gonna divide it by eye, like so, into two equalish sized pieces. And then on a red board, I'm going to roll these sausages to two long sausages. I'm gonna wet my hands, I wet my hands, and I'm gonna roll it to about 20 to 30 centimeters long. You roll it in the middle outwards. This should create a consistently thick sausage, like so. If you're struggling with wetting your hands, then a little bit of flour is fine as well, but don't be tempted to put too much flour on it. This will spoil the quality of the sausage. That's about right. In the meantime, we are going to beat an egg, which is for glazing giving it a lovely golden brown colour to your pastry. We're also going to lightly flour a baking tray. So I put my pastry in the freezer so it chills a lot quicker. If you wanted to make the pastry in the morning and then do this in the afternoon, that would be absolutely great and have a great effect. So I'm going to roll my pastry out, forwards and backwards, quarter turn. I'm just gonna keep collecting up the flour from the side and I'm going to roll it out to slight, about the size of an A4 sheet. As you're rolling, just ensure that you keep putting flour underneath so your pastry is not stuck to the surface. 
and also to reduce um, the shrinkage of the pastry when it starts cooking, just lift your pastry off the surface like so and then put it back down again and that should allow for the shrinkage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my rolling pin as a ruler to remove some excess pastry just to make it an even size. I'm going to um, cut my pastry in half using again my rolling pin as a guide like so and I'm going to place my sausage meat to the furthest end of my pastry that should be the right length if it's not just trim it up to fit that's fine then I'm going to use my egg to help it seal then I'm going to roll my pastry over and I'm going to pop it down like that I'm also then going to crimp the edge with a fork keep it together I'm then going to just trim off the ends which are a little bit emptier divide it into eight you can do as many as you like if you want bigger sausage rolls that's fine but they will need a longer cooking time I'm going to do mine into eight. I'm going to score it to allow the steam from the sausage meat to escape whilst it's cooking so it keeps the pastry nice and crisp. And I'm going to glaze it with more egg to make it nice and golden brown. And then I'm going to cut them use a large knife so I can gently using a sawing action so I don't squash it all down the sides cut up my sausage rolls and put them on my baking tray okay so I've got 16 sausage rolls um, all ready to go in the oven they need to cook for 25 to 30 minutes or until they're golden brown